Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Factorio. We are here at the beginning of a new season. Last time, or at least in the last English, English season, I did challenge myself to transport everything without belts. It was a tiny bit tricky, but we managed uh, until uh, I uh, lost my, my save game. So what's the challenge today or for this series? We will once again make use of trains and hopefully better use than uh, last time. We struggled a bit with uh, getting enough trains moving around and uh, refilled. And exactly for the refilling problem, uh, refueling problem, uh, I have added one of the two mods uh, here in this otherwise um, pretty vanilla uh, game. Uh, so let's see. Uh, we need a bit more uh, uh, iron. Um, probably also could do with a bit of wood for fuel. Um, one of the mods that I added is electric trains and that's purely so uh, we can use uh, trains to move things around without worrying uh, too much that they would all have to have a station for refueling. I think once we get to uh, uh, Factory 2.0 uh, where we have interrupts in train schedules, uh, that whole thing uh, should become way, way easier. But for the moment, we will just have to do with what we have. And that's why we have electric trains, which of course need to be researched first. So we'll stick uh, first with uh, coal powered trains and later on switch to electric trains which also consume more power so uh, um, we will have to scale more on the power generation side uh, less on uh, the fuel distribution side so that will still be um, a, a challenge um, and need also some uh, stone uh, for more uh, uh, burner miners. And the uh, second uh, mod you can see up there in the left corner, it's Helma. That helps me plan out uh, factories in the right uh, ratio. Uh, which will become important because what we do in this challenge here is we will only transport ores or fluids by train. So Something that I learned uh, or I realized in the last series that I did uh, in German is that if you have a main bus, you can only scale up your factory so much um, before you just cannot put more material on the bus. So the bus becomes the bottleneck of your factory. And if you truly want to go into the megabase territory uh, where you have loads of uh, science packs per seconds, 
you have to have a more modular approach and the way uh, we do that is by uh, creating these uh, modules similar to the way uh, we uh, had it uh, in the last English season um, where we have these squares where we transport goods to by trains uh, but all we will have input is the basic goods and everything else we have to create on site uh, to produce the material and aside from the ores that being coal, stone, iron, um, copper and uranium. There will be the fluids, uh, water, uh, uh, oil, light oil, heavy oil, petroleum gas, uh, lubricant and then science packs. So everything else needs to be uh, produced on site and that basically also means um, that we will not have any smelting array because if we smelt something we cannot uh, transport the plates so uh, if we need plates we have to smelt them where we also need them so we will have kind of uh, smelting going all over the place. So maybe here we can have a bit of uh, this going on. And then uh, we will need way more uh, iron um, to make some, some headway. And then of course, First things uh, will be um, the, uh, the the research. Research, yes, that will be the first thing. Uh, of course, uh, how we want to try to rush towards uh, uh, rail uh, because rails, that's, that's everything uh, that uh, this series will uh, evolve around. But I think as long as we have basically the, the base materials all here, uh, we will not need to, to uh, lean too heavy into, into the rail. So um, we'll have to set up something here to get us started. And uh, this start uh, is uh, often a bit tedious. Um, so uh, we, will, we will just have to see how we manage that. So we now have second stone smelter and once we have a bit of iron going and we can then think about uh, power and uh, our first research so i think i will make a cut here and then we will see uh, where we are um, once we have that um, first first research uh, set up we have the power set up, we have a few labs, so let's spread them out. Uh, set our research and yes, I think we want to ensure that we can protect ourselves. Um, and then go into that direction, that should do okay. I uh, have four laps this way. 
Oh, and it would be good to have one more. Um, have coal in here. And then we have power. We have expanded our smelting setup a tiny bit, especially coal, uh, because at the start we need quite a bit of coal. So there is, well, I will probably need more than one in term over the run of the series. Let's craft a few. Here we are full. Let's head back down, fill back up on the uh, miners and smelters. Nice. And then hopefully we can start on the research. There and those go in there. Then we probably need a few more. And then uh, once we have automation, we will set up um, something, something uh, that will provide us with uh, the red science packs and there we have it so I mean initially we will not really need all that much uh, because once we expand, we will set up science and research and so on, uh, probably over and over again. So let's add these in here and then We want to have these here and these need gears. So, yeah. So here we need a bit of that and a bit of this and that should supply us with red science packs and i can run around making sure that uh, we have uh, enough coal enough fuel um, until we get places uh, to do things and stock up on uh, uh, various various items uh, probably also um, starting a bit of uh, um, production for uh, for uh, ammunition uh, having a few uh, turrets so that uh, on, on this side we are already uh, out of uh, what we can see um, maybe a radar is in order and then of course having a machine gun submachine gun turrets uh, magazines um, and all the good stuff and looks like uh, we are not fast enough producing the uh, bottles might also be due to a lack of uh, input materials but 
as things go, um, let's take them as they come. And uh, I think the next big step will be when we uh, actually then reach the, the research where we will also need green science. In the meantime, we have a rudimentary set up to produce the green bottles. Not that we are yet using those for, uh, for the research. I mean, we are still lacking a bit of, of material and that mainly goes into the, the red bottles. We also have expanded or potentially expanded the uh, power setup just in case we need it but we are at the moment only using half of uh, what we could use uh, we have some turrets we have some ammo so i think we will visit these two nests down here because these are probably the the first ones that will get annoyed by our being here and creating a tiny bit of pollution. With armored turrets and a few of uh, these uh, fishes, we should be able to get around these. And maybe some turrets will not survive. But two did not. Two did not. Not to worry. It's only a bit of uh, material. We can recuperate from that. Probably uh, for the next nest, I need a bit more ammo restock on uh, on turrets, and then I can take care of those as well. But I think this will do for this first episode. Uh, next time we will probably see uh, research where we use green bottles uh, as well as uh, basically expanding or uh, coming up with a better setup for producing the, the science uh, packs um, because as it stands um, most of the research that we do with, with four labs is uh, faster than uh, uh, what what we need um, or what we can produce so uh, let's repair and prepare and then i will deal with the uh, second nest down here as well all right, that's it for today. Goodbye.